I'm going to tie hare's ear soft tackle. This is my version with the bead. I guess you would call it a nymph, but just using some tan thread to start. Doing this on a size 12 moonlit Togata 501 hook. If I was going for some big fish, I'd probably use the 502, but this would probably still work. I'm gonna take some pheasant tail, use that for my tailing, and get a few fibers in there. I tie this back and I'm tying it kind of loose so it doesn't twist it around. I'm going to do two wraps behind it and then come back on top. Come up about halfway. Fold those extra materials up. And just tear them off now. going to tie a little bit more up here by the head to kind of lock that bead in. I'm using a metallic purple moonlit slotted tungsten bead. This one is a 3 point or a, yeah 3.5 you can use a 3.0 millimeter as well. I'm going to take some copper wire. I'm using a 0 0.2 millimeter copper wire from Semperfly. Just going to tie that in and tie it back. And then I'm going to take either Herzer dubbing or I use this Vicuna. Here's your sub. Vicuna dubbing is made out of llama dubbing. And I like it a lot better than Hair's ear. It's a little buggier, especially for these big size 12s. I think it works a lot better. I'm going to rotate my vise up just a little bit. It's easier to wrap materials around that point when it's tilted up a bit. Gonna wrap to the back here. Wrap it forward to about right there. Now I'm gonna whip finish this just to hold it in place. I'm gonna swing my bobbin holder here. Hold that thread out of the way so I can pull up this wire and wrap it the opposite direction that we wrap the dubbing and thread through those fibers and that's going to tame it all in just a little bit. Pull that off my bobbin wrist and then we'll tie that in. Break that off. At this point I'm gonna switch thread because I want to end with a dark thread or if you got a marker you could use a marker. I left my marker somewhere else today so we're just gonna whip finish off. Cut that off and bring in some black thread here.
wrap that in. And we're going to tie in our feather. Now for this you could use partridge, you could use speckled natural hen feathers. You could use Brahma hen, like the mottled gray would be great. All right, we've got that tied in there. So we're going to wrap that. You can tie in from the stem or from the tip, either one. It's going to work just fine. Oops. So I'm kind of I'm using a quail feather on this one. One of the moonlit quail feathers. I had a lot of fun tying them this feather lately so that's what I chose to use before I put my last bit of dubbing in I'm just going to do a quick two turn whip finish just to lock everything in I could use a little bit of peacock or I'm going to use this Vicuna dubbing rainbow olive. It's really cool. I'm just going to move that dubbing down near the eye. Wrap that in. Just going to tame that hackle back just a little bit. And we're going to whip finish that. Seriously, this is an awesome fly.